Hello and welcome to week number 40 of the 2024 Baking Challenge. It is the first week of October. The mornings have been in the low 40s and I want chili. I know it's like 80 degrees outside right now, but I want chili. And with chili comes cornbread. Now, I have never made cornbread from scratch. My cornbread comes out of a box mix. Hello, Jiffy. Nothing wrong with it. It tastes perfectly fine. And honestly, I'm not convinced that this is gonna taste any better, but we're gonna find out. So grab your ingredients and let's bake. This really is a two dish ingredient here or two dish mess. So I like that for me. Um, I used my scale. I used my scale. I used a couple of teaspoons and that was how I measured everything. In a big bowl, you are going to have one and three fourths cups of all purpose flour. You're going to have a cup of yellow cornmeal, a fourth a cup of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one fourth a teaspoon of baking soda, Mm, three fourths a teaspoon of salt and that's everything in this one you're going to whisk all that together and set it aside in this bowl i have got one and one fourth cups of milk lukewarm four tablespoons of butter that's been melted but then cooled uh, we have a fourth a cup of vegetable oil and one large egg and you are just going to mix all of that up this is very simple so far. Oh, also preheat your oven to 375. I did that before I even started baking um, so that it would be ready to go. You also need to take into account what kind of baking pound you're gonna use. I'm using a nine by nine glass Pyrex, lightly greased. You can use cast iron if you'd like. I don't wanna deal with the cleanup from that. I wanna be able to just put it in the dishwasher. So my nine by nine, uh, Pyrex it is. Okay, we've got this together. Let me set this aside because I'm not going to use this whisk uh, to mix up my batter. I would much rather use something a little easier. All at once you're going to pour this in and you're going to get it mixed up. quickly and gently until just combined. So you don't need to like work out all the lumps, I guess, but you do need to make sure it's combined well. I kind of feel like mine's a little on the soupy side, but maybe not. It's honestly, it's been a while since I've made cornbread because I just like cornbread um, with chili. I don't honestly know what else to have cornbread with. I guess you could really have it with anything. Okay into the prepared pan. Oh, I, <laughs> I missed the bottom. I did not scrape the bottom very well. I do have some dry ingredients left in there. Let me get that real fast without over mixing. Into the pan we go. looks a lot like cake mix. I like cornbread. I'm a cornbread fan. Um, I know a lot of people like to have things like cinnamon rolls with their chili. Uh, for me, it's always cornbread. Love the cornbread. I'm not picky about the chili. Mine tends to come out of a can and that's okay. Uh, much to Scott's dismay, he's kind of a chili snob. I'm not. All right, this is gonna go into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. If you're making muffins, it's 14 to 16. It's gonna be the toothpick or knife test in the center. Oh boy. All right, set this for 20 minutes. Cleanup is gonna be easy, so that's nice. <laughs> You'll know it's done, it turns golden brown, toothpick or knife uh, put into the center is gonna come out clean. 
cool it on a rack for five minutes, serve it warm. I like to not have mine warm because my chili is going to be hot. It's a weird thing for me, a temperature thing. Um, and so I guess I'll see you back when it's time to eat it. Seriously, this was easy. So hopefully, hopefully this is just as good as the good old standby Jiffy box mix. Okay, back with kind of a fail. Um, I cooked the cornbread for 25 minutes. It's golden brown, especially on the edges. I did the toothpick test in the middle. It came out clean. I left it on the counter to cool down because like I said, I like my cornbread cool. When I came back, the top had completely sunken in. When I cut it, the whole center at the very top is it's raw. It's not cooked. I don't understand, number one, how the top didn't cook. Like I could expect it like at the bottom or even in the middle, but this was like the top, just under the, the top crust and how the toothpick, toothpick test failed. So I don't know how that happened. The rest of it, all the outside corner pieces, perfect. Absolutely done to perfection. So now it's time for the taste test. Uh, make sure that I didn't get anywhere near what is not cooked all the way. And here we go. Hmm. It's a great texture. It's very buttery. It's a very buttery cornbread. Not really like, like if you've ever made the Jiffy Mix cornbread, it's very much a sweet cornbread. This lacks that sweetness. I don't know how much sugar they put in the, uh, the mix stuff, but this didn't have a ton of sugar. Um, overall, other than the baking issue I had, which I'm still really scratching my head over, it's a good cornbread. It's super fast, it's super easy. Other than the cornmeal, you should have everything on hand. So I'm gonna call it a win, trying to figure out again why my center was raw. And it wasn't just, it wasn't just like a little underdone, it's, it's raw. So, um, yeah, a weird one, not quite a win, not quite a fail, but somewhere in between, user error maybe, I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> maybe I would have had better luck with muffins. I might try that next time. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this week's challenge. I hope that your cornbread turned out great. I hope that you hit the subscribe button and Come back next weekend because next weekend we got some more fall baking happening, a little bit more for you pumpkin people. I'm cautiously optimistic for this bake after those pumpkin cookies turned out so great. Um, so hit the subscribe button below. You can also head over to the Facebook page every Wednesday or Thursday. I will put out the, the ingredient list and the name of what we will be baking that weekend. That way you can decide if you'd like to bake along. I'm gonna go clean up my kitchen and I will see you next weekend.